Hi, thanks for stopping by for this week's quick video. This week, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how I help people, particularly those like myself, who identify under the rainbow flag in the work that I do. So whether that's how you identify or if you consider yourself an ally, I hope you find it useful. A major part of my work involves helping individuals from discriminated minorities of all types, including my siblings who identify under the rainbow flag many of whom may be suffering with the long-term residual effects of early life bullying and trauma. The effects of early life confusion, marginalization and rejection can manifest themselves at any time, even many years after having dealt with self-acceptance and coming out, for example. Incidents at work from a lack of understanding to outright bullying can have a detrimental effect and be a trigger on the mental well-being of those who were subjected to early life trauma. Quite simply, we all have what we call a metaphorical stress bucket in our minds. Sometimes, and it can be a gradual process, when we've been piling too much into it, it can overflow. Quite often, things which have happened in early life can remain at the bottom of the bucket, which means we're prone to our buckets getting full, somewhat more easily than others are. We do have a method for emptying said stress bucket. We usually process the daily stresses which occur in day-to-day -day life at nighttime during our REM sleep phase. However, when we're not sleeping properly, when things get on top of us, when normal life situations cross our path, such as redundancy, stress at work, problems in a relationship, or any number of other things happen to us, all those things are added to our stress bucket. Problems occur when this excess stress is added to the crap that has been sitting at the bottom of our metaphorical stress bucket, it will cause the bucket to overflow. This is when our inner voice, that narrative which we all have, which is with us all day, will start to drag things up from our past, names we were called, things which happened to us, things we wish we'd done differently. It can all come flooding back and can really affect our mental health and well-being. If left unchecked, then before we know it, we can become completely overwhelmed and get feelings of hopelessness or worse. Of course, I don't just help people from my own community, but I do have an in-depth understanding of their issues. The type of treatment I undertake can help anyone who has issues from their past which are troubling them. The solution-focused approach uh, not only helps individuals to deal with such things successfully, but enables them to thrive free from the burden of early life trauma. The solution focused approach is fast and effective. There's no need to go over old ground. There's no need to spend years in therapy. The entire process is based around helping the client to explore their preferred future and helping them access their inner resources to reach their personal goals. We don't need to visit uh, traumatic events of the past. Instead, I will empower you to leave them where they are and move on successfully. I use an integrated approach to help individuals and groups build mental resilience, improve focus, reduce stress and anxiety, and to develop a solution-focused approach in their day-to-day -day thought processes. Using a combination of evidence-based and science-backed solution-focused brain training, combined with creative visualization and stress-reducing techniques to naturally improve mental well-being, encouraging those I treat to thrive and be their best self. As ever, everything I do is evidence-based. No psychobabble, no mind control, and no bull. If you'd like to know more, then please check out my website and book yourself a free and no obligation consultation on my calendar, which you will find on there. As well as two clinics in the northwest of England, I can help you wherever you are in the world using Zoom. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. And whatever you do this week, do it well and do it your way. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. And why not subscribe to my channel too? Thank you.